Uh, the next segment is going to be on sentence simplification. Uh, sentence simplification is one of the challenges in uh, text summarization. Uh, so far, everything that we have discussed involved e extractive summarization, where we take entire sentences and put them in the output. Uh, now we're going to briefly look at uh, going beyond uh, sentence extraction, specifically taking entire sentences and cutting off some pieces from them uh, to make them shorter. So some of the parts of the sentences that could potentially go in summaries may be removed for a variety of reasons. Uh, one of them is uh, that we want to have more space available for more important content. So in order to do this, we have to figure out which uh, portions of sentences are the least informative. And uh, prior research has found that those include things like quotes, uh, appositions. Uh, just to remind you, an opposition is something like uh, Barack Obama, comma, President of the United States, comma. So the second part of the sentence is uh, an opposition, and often it can be removed without hurting the information content of the summary. Other things that can be removed in many cases are some adjectives, some adverbs. Embedded clauses are often some of the first to go. Attribution clauses, for example, who said what. Uh, why do we want to do sentence simplification? There are many different applications for it. One is for things like subtitling. Very often there is not enough space on the screen to include the entire sentence. It's possible to include just portions of it instead. Uh, headline generation uh, for mobile devices. Uh, you may want uh, to produce a shorter version of a sentence to display in large font uh, as part of a summary on a mobile device. And then if the user wants to read more, they can click on the sentence and see the full text. Uh, there are also um, multiple instances where uh, people have built applications for the visually impaired people, which also involve sentence simplification. So I'm going to go over some examples of work on uh, sentence simplification, starting by a paper uh, by Kevin Knight and Daniel Marku from 2000. So in their paper, they use uh, syntactic information from the sentences, and they compare two different approaches. Uh, one is a noisy channel-based model, and one is based on decisions. And the kind of rules that they have are based on the constituent tree of the sentence. So, for example, uh, they may want to convert the rule uh, noun phrase goes to determiner adjective noun to one that says noun phrase goes to determiner noun, thereby dropping the adjective. Uh, so, they have a set of rules like this, and they have used this uh, approach on a corpus of simplified sentences from a computer manuals, the so-called Ziff Davis corpus. So here are some examples from that corpus. Uh, you have a full sentence, like the documentation is typical of excellent quality, excellent. And then you also have a shorter version of it that's part of the training data. Documentation is excellent. As you can see here, we have removed some uh, individual words, for example, articles, some adjectives, and uh, some uh, prepositional phrases in this case. Here's some more examples. All of our design goals were achieved and the delivered performance matches the speed of the underlying device. This is the full sentence. The short sentence is, all design goals were achieved. So we are missing uh, possessive, uh, we are missing uh, some portions of uh, conjunctive clause and also some prepositional phrases. Here's some more examples. I'm not going to read them all. Here's, uh, let me read this one. Beyond the basic level, the operations of the three products vary widely. So here we are skipping the entire clause beyond the basic level. You get the operations of the three products vary widely. So uh, one possible source of information for building uh, sentence compression or sentence simplification uh, applications comes from a large corpus called the uh, Simple English Wikipedia. Uh, so let me show you what it looks like. On this slide, I'm going to show you an entry about a person uh, taken directly from the English Wikipedia, which is a full-length uh, sentences. So you can see that uh, a lot of the information in it is um, in long sentences with a lot of additional information, for example, appositions and uh, prepositional phrases that convey a lot of detail. Uh, you can spend a little bit of time on this slide to understand uh, what uh, the general structure of this document is. And then you should compare it with the matching entry for the same person in the simple English Wikipedia. Uh, it would be nice to see those side by side and you can figure out how often you can uh, compare which sentences from one of the documents matches which sentence from the other one and how uh, you can use this alignment to simplify sentences automatically. 
So there are many other approaches for text simplification, but uh, for this course, we're not going to look at them. Uh, we're going to switch now to a different topic.